badly installed gas boiler. My name's Alan Hart and in today's video, today's video is a little bit special because the videos have been sent in from subscribers. So these are badly installed boilers. Also near the end of the video I've got a couple of jobs where I've quoted and I didn't get the jobs and I just wanted to show you I've driven past them jobs and I just wanted to show you how how they've been installed just from the outside so obviously I've not been back in the properties but I also wanted to show you them as well and then we've got another few things to add into the mix as well in this video so first of all I want to thank Paul Kelly who is a Worcester Bosch engineer and Paul is really really helping and supporting us on our training group um, on Facebook so um, this first video is from Paul so yeah I'll show you this so this is the fan and this is the part, part of the bike goes on top of the heat exchanger you can see that it's all full full with water and that one as well that's the actual gas pipe there full of water we're watering And then if we have a look at this, this is one of the baffles. And again, full of water. This is the gas side, so this there should be no water in this part of it. This isn't it's not a water carrying part. And then this is the gas valve. Obviously, gas and water do not mix, so that's water in the gas valve. So that's your Worcester Bosch boiler. And what's happened there is the boiler has filled up with water and that's rainwater and um, we just had a heavy downpour and what's happened is the the condensate pipe is not connect uh, not connected correctly and it's been connected into the rainwater pipe and if you imagine it's a bit hard to see but if, if you imagine this is your rainwater pipe coming down here from your gutters if you just see there and then somebody's teed in there. And what all they've done is they've just cut a nice lovely hole with a hole saw, connected it in, and then sealed it with sealant. So it's so it's a lovely nice job. But it's not a lovely nice job because the rainwater pipe is connected to a soak away. And when it's really heavy rain, it's backed up and it's backed up into the boiler and it's flooded the boiler. And, and this is why it's really, really important to read the installation instructions and, and I'm gonna keep saying this over and over again about reading the installation instructions um, so yeah so that's that's the Worcester Bosch boiler um, what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna show you another job which is almost the same but this time it's an ideal and it's an ideal Vogue combi boiler so yeah let, let's have a look at this ideal Vogue so this is the fan in the ideal Vogue and if you have a look in there it's a little bit hard to see but it's got all water in there and this is the the baffle that goes on it as well and again it's all full with water and if we have a look on the burner door what connects to the burner and the we can see there it's just it's all full it's just full of water So it's made a re real, real mess of this boiler. And this is all rainwater from the, from the, gut, from the pipe coming down from the gutters. So it just shows how important it is to install the condensate correctly. And 
And if we have a look on the burner door here, all this is all soaking wet. It's a little bit, bit awkward to see, to be honest. And if we have a look in the boiler as well, all inside the boiler is all soaking wet. You can see water line there as well, inside the heat exchanger. So as you can see there, by something as simple as not connecting the condensate correctly can cause a lot of damage. So it's really important that we read the installation instructions and we do a really, you know, we do the job correctly. Uh, if you if you're a plumber or a gas engineer and you've got any videos like this, any shocking stuff, then please send them in. I'll add my WhatsApp below. Send, in, send them in on WhatsApp as long as you're happy for me to share them on YouTube. And if you're, if you're an end user, if you're a customer and you watch my videos, then again, if you want to, if you've got any, you know, your flu sticks out a mile or there's something and you're not quite sure of it, Again, send me some pictures in on WhatsApp or videos in. Videos are best, um, really. And also some pictures of, of the boilers and stuff as well. And I'll try and do a video about individual jobs if if, if I can. Um, and if I can, if I can go through, I'll try and go through MIs, installation instructions. Um, and, and yeah, we'll just see that. But um, what I want to do now, I just want to show you a couple of jobs what I've personally been to. I've personally quoted, um, yeah, let's go and have a look. So this first one that we've got here is a flue. I went and quoted this job, it's quite a couple of years ago now, I went to quote this job and I never heard back from them. I drove past a few weeks later and I seen the flue like this. On this particular job, I told them that the boiler couldn't go where they wanted it to. I told them that it were too close to the boundary um, and it had to be a minimum of 600 millimeters from the end of the terminal and I suggested moving the boiler slightly and, and having the flue go out of the back and and, and this is what this is this is what they've done here so if you if we can see from there clearly um, some manufacturers might allow flues to be extended like that but even so even if they do it doesn't look very good um, what I'll do now uh, what I'd like you to do as well is please if you could add some comments below about these flues and this water damage in boilers etc uh, but what I'll do now I'll show you this this next job this next job here I went to quote this and, and they actually they actually said they wanted to go ahead with this job and then just as I was gonna going to start the job that they, they cancelled the job and for me it's not sour grapes I don't mind not getting jobs. I, I I want to, I want to do the job correctly. I want to do the best job I can. And as as the years go on, I've I've always tried to do a better and better job. You know, um, and this this just a few picky things with this just from outside. So I can only judge this from outside. But if we have a look at the flu on this, you can see the flu sticks out too far that this is a baxi boiler by the looks of the flu it looks like a baxi boiler so i am sort of guessing sort of an educated guess but it does look like it's a baxi flu and then if we have a look at the condensate pipe and it's a little bit hard to see on the pictures but the condensate pipe is in overflow and with a baxi boiler that should be um it, well it shouldn't be done in overflow anyway so again please add some comments below and let me know what you think to these installs. This one is a, it's another one where the condensate hasn't been installed correctly and it's blocked up and it's had to be smashed off so the boiler would work. This is just to balance it out a little bit, but this, in the middle of the picture here, there was a balanced flue and we actually installed this boiler over to the left hand side and we bricked this brickwork up so hopefully you can see there that we've actually took pride in in the job. And these pictures are sent in from a subscriber. And this just shows where a flue hasn't been supported correctly in the loft. There's no clips on it. And it's actually come apart in the loft. So it just shows it's very important 
that you read the installation instructions and you make sure that you put clips on when needed. This is a looks like it's an ideal Vogue and the seal has not been put in correctly when the flue has been put on. This is a central heating system where it's got sludge on the pipes. So if you have a look on these pictures, you can see how restricted it is. So again, thank you to everybody who helps and supports this channel. And thank you to the people that send these um, pictures and videos in. And just one thing I wanted to show you was this. 10 million views. Thank you so much and thank you to to everybody who, who supports me. It, it's brilliant. Um, and as I say, if you've got any pictures, videos, etc., please send them in on my WhatsApp and I'll try my best to, to do some videos on them at some point. Thanks for watching.